there are things I need of you. Things you may not understand and may not wish to do. But please do not make the same mistakes I did. My father, Howard, deserted me before I was born. I could claim the loss of my mother. And the letter I received after the funeral blinded me to what I had to do. It would be a lie. Human nature sealed my downfall. My name is Philip. If we are lucky, then by the time you receive this, I will be dead. If fate frowns, we all perish. Hey, I'm Cheshire and this is Penumbra. Um, I picked it up at a steam sale and I figured it'd make a very nice uh, game to play. Um, because some time ago when I played... I'm not even sure what it's called yet, but it was um, in a cellar or not a sewer. And someone commented, you should do more horror games. So, here we are. My story began in February, year 2000. For my part in this allegory, sure. I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Howard vanished from my mother's life before I was even in it. So when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard from him. Pity he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that, despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and said the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. Oh, the shit. university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever take. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realised my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day. And I considered it a what it was that I was living behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12-hour journey that would lead me into my past. So this starts nice and creepy already. Obviously, having taken a bit of a drink. Finally, we're almost docked. I better stow my gear. I may be far from home, but chances are that I can still pick things up using the left mouse. And I can take a closer look at things using the right mouse. Good. That's not a closer look. Ah. I'm certain this map is a good decade or so out of date, but landmarks don't change much in Greenland, so I've got a pretty decent idea of where I'm heading. Alrighty. Pick it up. Look at it. And... Can I rotate? Uh. Fish. Blocker. Cannot do anything with the locker. Book. Let me see the book. A good scientist always takes pen and paper. Always good to have a notebook to jot down interesting information and reminders. From the smell, I'd say there's an equal chance they use the chest for personal belongings or bait. 
Open it. Move it. Ah. Flashlight switch is on and off via the inventory tab, and hopefully with the shortcut key F. Now, where's that emergency glow stick? It should still be in the locker. Keys my inventory. But what's in the chest? Fisherman's wife love letter. Okay, so try not to throw it this time. Someone likes their uh, whiskey, booze. said something about inventory tab battery kit all right so what do we do ah. one use batteries As I stepped off the boat, setting into, out into the blizzards that had formed around me, I realized how utterly devoted I'd been to the discovery of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation or my spirit first. But I lost feeling in my extremities soon after. A new hypothermia I was setting in. I started looking for shelter. Oh. Oh god. So cold. Don't know where I am. Need shelter soon. Um, my entire head was numb a long time ago, but I can still hear the wind roaring pass. Or is that some kind of animal in the distance? I do not like the sound of both of that. What in the hell is that? I don't care, I need shelter, I need to throw the shirt, I need something to break in. Um, pick up a barrel. I can't pick up a barrel. Um, rock, yes. Yeah, I know how to throw shit. I already threw a bottle of whiskey. Open, 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 open. Open, open. Give me, 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 give much trouble rotating a wheel like this I'm going to be in big trouble so <laughs> I'm opening it with a rock Yes, are we open now? No. Why the hell cannot open open sesame? Yes. Oh, get in. Get out of this cold. Please stop whispering. Uh, 
Okay. That's not that big of a fall, is it? Anyway, um, yeah, I also wanted to do some talking. Empty boxes of animation. Well, this is place. A heavy looking wooden barrel. Could be anything inside. Can I open it? Can I open it? I wanted to do some uh, some talking as well. Um, to me, it's the end of 2016. Um, pretty rough year. It's the last day <laughs> of 2016. Um, and yeah, a lot of things happened. Steel rock. Cool. I mean, a lot of celebrities. Um, we're just they don't drop down like nobody's business oh oh i see something i see something. a flare okie dokie then whoa what the fuck fuck is this? I don't like it. Alright, so I can... Whoa! <laughs> Just getting the hang of it, of destructing stuff. Wooden door. It's, I hope it's open. We shall see. It's stuck. There must be something in the way. Uh, I wanted to do some talking, but I completely forgot what I want, wanted to talk about. Can I break this open like this? Got to find something. Oh wait! I'm smart. I am very super smart. So I can do like this. No, not quite right. Okay. Hmm. I can see Whoa. better when crouched. Maybe I can use this. Get some leverage or no. This is perplexing. You're not going to tell me that I'm already getting stuck before even I get to the creepy part. I'm in some kind of underground insulation, but the only door out of the room I mean is locked. Need to find some way around. Oh So that is how you're planning Bye to do it. That's why it gave me this Back for back. Oh god. Uh, I am already not liking this. And why is there two ways to go? That's both going up. I found out I can lean. Yay! Hello, what are you? It looks like some um, kind of industrial mechanism, although there's a hole in the center and no way to operate it. That is... Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. What the fuck was that? I wanna go back, I wanna go back. Yeah. Let 
me move this. The hell is beating up on this? I actually don't want to know, but this hatch is seriously solid. It won't open by hand. Someone obviously wants to keep people out or in. Okay, so you know what? Let's just stack these barrels. And climb out after the blizzard is done. How about that? Maybe these barrels contain something useful, perhaps? No wonder I couldn't open the door. Yeah, they really wanted something to keep inside. And, um, you know. Oh, wait. Oh no. Oh no no. No. Why do you want me to go in? Alright, because I wanted to know what the hell my dad did. Whatever I was descending into, it was 100 feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches, located in a remote arctic wilderness and buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I'd never given it much thought before, but I realized that our entire society is a network of safety nets. Emergency services at the end of a phone line, health and safety in the workplace, friends, family, lovers, all there. If something goes wrong, part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane of emotions. Once again, I felt like I did when I was in school surrounded by a closing ring of older kids knowing anyone that might help me friends parents teachers were too scared or too far away i've jotted down a note just in case all right uh notes that's not the notes there could be anything living down here heroics are for hollywood actors and fairy tales I'm not taking any chances. If I face off against anything down here, I won't last a second. Caution and stealth are my only defenses now. If anyone or anything hears me, I'd be best off staying low and stand out of sight until I know whether it's not a threat. Crouching by pressing left control will give me a chance to hide in the shadows. I'll know I've got it right because of the blue tint to my vision. Plus, I should be quiet enough that I won't be hurt unless something's right on top of me. Better remember to shut off any light sources though. It's stuck, I'm trapped, I need to get out. My best is to hide for a couple of seconds or so, perfectly still, but it'll make me properly hidden. Whoa! Like that, I'll be virtually invisible and after some time, I should get my night vision back, provided I may still... Or provided I stay still. Goody goody! Can I pick that up? I can pick that up. There's more stuff to pick up. Alrighty then. Explosives, office, exit, storage, work, shop. Workshop, office, storage room. I can see well enough in this part. Um, office, a lamp. Yes. This place must be very old if they were still using paraffin lamps. Looks like there's still some juice left. Well, give me. Storage room. Also, the fact that it's the 31st of December and that they are having fun with fireworks outside is not very concerning. 
notes. Ah. Mm. Why do I get startled by loading sounds? Old food tins. Old rusty nails. Yep, this sword's alright. Boots. What is that? It sounds like a person who is very, very cold. Or like a dog. If this lighter wasn't empty, it'd be anything to have. Okay, so bugs equals sad face. Um, balls minus balls equal ladder hatch next. Exhaust gas equals bad. Oh, lighter plus fuel equals fine. Dead bugs and happy. So I'm guessing that in that room it's locked. Porcelain. I'm guessing that in this room there are bugs. And that I need to torch the bugs. But I only have an empty lighter. Hello? Hello? Just your random explorer guy. <laughs> Light a few late? Painkillers. What's that? Oh! The hell? What just happened? I don't know if that was such a good idea. Yeah. Due to that. What's that? And why is it a thing? Okie dokie. Locked from the other side. That does mean that there's someone still inside. I can hear chattering, blah blah. Going too fast. There's a locked door with odd noises coming from it behind the storage. It did sound like someone is cold. <laughs> okay. Lots of use of junk at the best. It could be a decent hiding spot. Oh, fuck. It sounds like wolves. Jesus, I've never been this scared in my life. I can feel more heart racing. If anything gets within more than a few feet of my hiding spot, I'd better not stare it out. Anything within my field of vision might panic me and then I'm a goner. Doesn't look like there's something there. Creepy, creepy thing. Uh, I'm not 
looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Okay, bye. So, it is a wolf. I'm pretty sure I'm not one to... <gasps> No, 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 fuck off, fuck off, no, 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 Those were not happy sounds. Gnawing on my bones and shit. <coughs> yes, there's something else down with me. Can I just beat it with a rock? Oh, it found me. Kill it. Kill it with a fucking rock. Music went in turns, something spotted me. Did I kill it? No. Please go away. Oh. Whoa. Oh, fuck. So I can fend it off. No, I cannot. Okay, I might not be able to get any further like this. Oh goodness. Um, but that's the time I have for now. I want to thank you all for watching, and if I made you smile, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll have more madness for you, the next time.